I was uh I was back in the moving truck this week. I love it. Yeah, so I'm teaching a master class on uh, <laughs> how to be a massive failure at something. <laughs> how to dedicate 12 years of your life to yes. uh, a thing and not succeed at it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so if anyone wants to sign up. Um, I'd like to. But, yeah. that's, how, that's, how I feel. that's how I feel about fucking. I've dedicated most of my adult life to it, and I'm still horrible, You're still horrible at, it. at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty horrible at it, too. Yeah. No, yeah. I, you know what's funny? I actually... When we get in the, if I get in the zone, I'm not bad at fucking. It's uh-huh. procuring pussy that can be an issue sometimes. Really? Uh, maybe not so much anymore in my life, but there definitely yeah, was a you part. You think you're like a minor celebrity now? A very yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how little of like what niche celebrity it takes to get pussy. It's yeah. like that's how horrible human beings are. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that like <laughs> just you know, a little something? Any, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's like, oh, it's a podcast. <laughs> he tells a horrible. He's in a horrible <laughs> podcast. Because everybody <laughs> needs something. Racist. Yeah, just a little and bit. It's like bad. That's all, yeah. <laughs> they just have. As, if, if someone has heard of you. The yeah. chances that they fuck you go up because they just know who you are. So for sure, that's sort of my. I would pay for but, both of those master classes, moving and fucking. And fucking. I'll, give you a little, I'll give you a little fuck seminar. <laughs> well, I did these walk ups, and it's like it was so fucking brutal, terrible. And I haven't moved in a while, so mm-hmm. it's just like, I, and, I, and I feel no, my body. Jordan, we're in the forty five. Yeah, you're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jordan on the Wizards. Yeah. It's on his last day. Of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I think I'm getting older. My fucked up my knee. Yeah. And dude. I was like, I was taking Motrin and I was like, oh, I totally get how people die. Right. On pain pill overdoses. You oh, know? it's Oof. the best. But I was just thinking about like, so I'm like emptying this girl's U-Haul into her apartment. And I'm thinking about like, I, I should just go into a life of crime or something. Absolutely. I should find. And I was thinking about the kind of criminal I would be. Okay. And I was thinking what, what I would do is like. I start stealing cars, uh-huh. and I, like, flag this. But I'm, like, real polite about it. Mm-hmm. Like, I flag this lady down. You're I'm a like, gentleman. Yeah. I'm not like, like, you know what kind of people are kind of rude, <laughs> rude about their crime. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Which is why they have it. There's yeah. a code the way There's we do code. things. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I'm, like, a total gentleman about <laughs> right, it. I'm like, right, right. I'm, like, you know, I pull this lady over. I'm, like, miss, I wish this wasn't what I was doing with my life. Right. I'm going to need your car. Yes. And I... Maybe I show her the gun. Maybe I don't. Mm-hmm. But she gets the idea. She knows. She and you command a certain respect. Thank you. She wouldn't, I, she I wouldn't disrespect you and not give you her car. You know what I mean? My ass is hanging out of this track suit. So I take the lady's car. Then I go to do it again, right? Uh-huh. And I'm like, I stopped this guy. It's like a guy and his wife. Okay. Oh. I'm like, sir, <laughs> listen. On one. I wish I wasn't doing this with my life, but I, I'm going to need your car. And the guy's like, fuck you. Mm, uh-oh. And I'm just like. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, the screaming stopped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. And I'm like, we got to go. <laughs> yeah. Quick. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's, what, are you, what are you staring at? Yeah. Uh, what are you, come on. I, They're gone. They're gone. Uh, They're gone. I would hate to be your partner. <laughs> and that's like the start of the I love you know, it. Yeah. <laughs> opening credits. I think I've read this stuff all the time. That's great, dude. Anyway. I love that. Welcome to the sit down. We got uh, Stavros from Come Town hey, joining welcome. us. Hello. Today. Hello. Let me turn this down a little bit. You ever hear this song, this Lady Gaga song? No. It's good. <laughs> and what's it called? You and I. Uh. And I used to listen to it all the time and imagine myself like, you know. In what? Be- in what? Like beating someone up. Yeah. Or, uh, this, yeah has it been used violent. in something like that? I don't no? think so. But it's it's kind of like it the perfect good. song for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It melded. Yeah, you should score a mafia movie, dude. I, I should. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this would be great. Or I'll just make my own. Yeah. Like, yeah, just scenes of. Uh, you think you pull that whole. You think you pull off a whole movie? I think it's a little much you to buy. You I still, think it's a you know, lot. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. We're still in moving yeah. trucks. Let's not forget how this started. <laughs> exactly. You could do score. You could do the movie. You could pick a couple songs. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Writing a fucking script, getting the cameras. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Well, cool. Um, anyway, yeah, welcome to another episode. Today we're uh, we're here live from Astoria. We're talking to a Greek gentleman. That's right. And we're talking about the, uh, we're talking about Greek uh, crime. I love it, dude. Kind of overlooked. One of the overlooked. Uh, yeah, you know, absolutely. I think, I think with Greeks overall, it's like we're kind of like a novelty ethnicity where it's sure. like we're not we never became You're mainstream. Not everywhere. Right. It's like, yeah. I mean, we're very similar people, Italians and Greeks for sure. But mm-hmm. Greeks are just a little more exotic. Their language is a little, you know, we got our own 
You're on alphabet. alphabet. Yeah. You know the the heritage of being like the fucking you know democracy people. That's kind of our what people think of. They think of fucking marble and shit like that. But we're greasy fucking piece of shit scumbags just like you dagos are you know <laughs> yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. <laughs> we really are modern greeks share a lot i think with the uh, italians and you know we don't get uh the credit i think for being pieces of dog shit right that you do you know <laughs> that everyone yeah we are kind of like the go-to but maybe we have a wider reach i don't know like it's, yeah it's tough to you never meet anyone who's like i hate greeks right most people true, like yeah. i hate italians yeah 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 they're yeah. loud Sure. There's, you know, smelly there. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. And yeah. also, pizza has been stolen from you. Like, Italian food, mm-hmm. you don't really get the same... It's kind of it's so less authentic mainstream. Cause everybody, yes, yeah. exactly. It's We're, like the most profitable food, too. You just right. kind of... Easy. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Greek... So it's like we still... There's a little harder barrier of entry. We're that's what we are. We're like a little bit. We're the upgraded model to Italians. You yeah, know? yeah, you guys are the the Corolla. We're the fucking. Uh, You're the Kimmel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Toyota Corolla. Oh, the Toyota Corolla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Toyota Av- Corolla. We're the fucking yeah. The Avalon. That both of us work. Italian of uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, they work though. Both work. Yeah, yeah. It seems like uh, like uh, Greeks just didn't get caught. Like they probably had the same level of uh, racketeering and like profiteering and stuff. But it just seems like a Greeks never. Never been caught. Yeah, because what are the stereotypes about Greeks? It's not like uh, you know, no one thinks you're loud. Diner or owner is the big one. I mean, that's it. Yeah. You know, it's like olives. That's, yeah, yeah. It's like it really it goes back to either ancient Greece yeah. or diners. I mean, that's it. There's no in between, really. It's like that's a Gary Goldman bit, right? He's like Greeks used to be Plato and Aristotle, and now they're like I know John Stamos and Yanni. <laughs> Dude, it sucks. I yeah. when what I, happened? There was a moment of sexuality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just well, yeah. that's how we got our juice by fucking it out of little boys. <laughs> you know. What I mean, that's that's how we got all our ideas. And once right, you outlaw right. pedophilia, right, how right, else right, are we right, supposed right. to think? Right. You know, we that's why no pent up energy has been that good. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. We Wait, can't. you like movies? Yeah, I got a, I got a fucking, I, I got, got some a, bad news yeah, I got some bad news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why do you think those fucking classics? You know, mm-hmm. why, you know, Godfather. They were all made by pedophiles. Absolutely, Coppola yeah. sucking little boys all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the original scene with with Jack Waltz and the Godfather, he was like. He was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had. <laughs> I got him all over the world. <laughs> but they changed yeah. it. They were like, a couple notes, Francis. Uh, maybe you could make it a seven years a young old. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, maybe I joke about gay sex too much, but but joking about heterosexual sex, there, there's a little bit of a, a danger to it. Mm. Like when you're like, when Dice is like, and then uh, the girl sucked my cock. You're right. almost like, especially today in 2018, sure. people are like, sure. well, was she okay with that? But when you're like, oh, I fucking sucked off your dad. I sucked your co- dad's cock. One of my <laughs> yeah. favorite jokes. <laughs> one of my favorite. Honestly, yeah. saying I and nobody fucked gets hurt. Nobody, yeah. you, you, your dad gets to come. Right, exactly. Yeah. There's a double absurdity, but if you do, I've thought about this a lot because, you know, that's sort of how I've made my career is joking about <laughs> fucking people's fathers. And, uh, yeah, I mean. And if, what a career. It if is. You re- Absolutely, yeah. dude. I'm toothless. Uh, uh, yeah. um, uh, I do think, unfortunately, there is just a layer of homophobia. Because it's like, what's funny about it is how ridiculous... Like saying you fuck you fuck someone's mom, uh-huh. the joke is like it's been also it's been done to death, right? Right, yeah. but it's also just like it's almost like this weird ownership of like you know you're you you're I'm fucking your dad's <laughs> pussy, which you also own, right, sort right, of. Right. You know what I mean? The, right, right. But it's like when it's when you fuck your dad, it's like absurd. It's like mm-hmm. you know you're flipping power dynamics, but also and it's funny because it's gay, right? If we're really gonna be fucking serious <laughs> about it, it's yeah, also yeah, yeah. what we find funny about joking about being gay is that like. It is funny. There's part of you that still deep down remembers when it was being gay was wrong. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. It's like wearing a. Sh- it's like if you were wearing pants, the 90s. pants on your uh, upper body and sh- a shirt on your lower body. Yeah, That's yeah, what two yeah. guys fucking right, is. Right, you know right. what I mean? It's just right. silly and wrong. You know. And today it's like, hey, don't make fun of him. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, but also like if, if you blow someone's dad, you would definitely have the consent. Absolutely. Love, yeah, love yeah. Him, well, right? there is something funny about oh, your dad's <laughs> been gay your whole life. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that. It is also like I'm I'm exercising this you're also power outing somebody. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah. And you're exercising yeah. power in the most passive way, which is hilarious. Right, right. Like you know, or your dad ate my ass is funny because you yeah, can't really yeah. force someone to eat your ass. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he's got yeah. unless you tie him up and like right, yeah, right, sit right. on it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you put him away. Well the, well, the other thing about it is like if if you're like Racine, I fucked your mom. Right. 
maybe my because my parents are still together. Right. Maybe they'll get over that. Maybe they'll go to counseling. Maybe sure. they'll, you know, my mom will realize. But then if like you fucked my dad, open up a whole new world. Opens a whole new thing. <laughs> Best They're living case a scenario. Lie. There's right. a, yeah. Best <laughs> case scenario, I raped him. Right. And he has to Best, get over that. Best case you know, scenario. Because he's yeah. still straight. But worst case scenario right. for your mother. Is he is just a homosexual and <laughs> it's all been a lie. She now she's thinking about her whole life and with this new information, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the usual suspects, but right. it turns out your dad was gay the whole time. And so yeah, best case I raped your father. <laughs> just to summarize. <laughs> so the mafia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get into it. No, I don't care. They um, don't do a lot of raping, do they? I, I like, don't I don't think so. I like, haven't I mean of women, yes, it. but like there's no yeah, like of course. There's That's no how like, my grandparents met. <laughs> 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 Cocktail waitress at fucking uh, spaghetti at a spaghetti spot. Yeah, I think my grandma got married at like twenty three, and my grandfather they're like nine years apart. So nice. yeah, that's a good part of our. Uh, that's our not culture, bad. That's honestly that's six months for Italians. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, two generations ago, nine <laughs> years is. I was expect. I mean, people yeah. are getting married to fucking fourteen year olds and shit. Like, like sure, yeah, you know, forty year old men. Yeah. How old was uh, Apollonia in The Godfather? She was pretty young. Uh, she must have been, yeah, like 19, 18. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and Fucking then those, scumbag. yeah, those yeah. beautiful tits. And those beautiful, <laughs> puffy, blown away. puffy, Darker than you'd think nipples. <laughs> yeah. We're fucking peeled off the road in Corleone somewhere. Apollonia was a boy in the original script. Yeah. <laughs> Same nipples, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look, you got to like, change the script. <laughs> we, yeah, we, saw this, we saw this boy today. Piper more Greek than Italian. <laughs> there is no boy. There's yeah. no boy in, the in this neighborhood. <laughs> bring, bring him back up. Oh, God, I fucked and love being a podcaster. <laughs> it's the best, baby. You know what I was thinking, though? What's that? Cumtown would be a, a, a great uh, crime family. Mm. You have Nick, the reclusive boss. Sure, sure, you know, sure, sure. The sure. shut in. Sure, just I'm out there. Like yeah. mm-hmm. You would probably be like the underboss. Exactly. The, I'm the one working. The, I'm the public face. Yeah. I'm the one taking all the heat. You know you're the I mean? one with the uh, doing the operation stuff, right, the day-to-day right, stuff. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. You have your, your capos. Right. I don't know. Maybe your capos are PD. Sure, Dylan, sure. Come on, whatever. Yeah. Jake. Yeah, yeah. Come Adam's on, your secretary. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Adams, Adams. I yeah, could be one, one of the capos. Of, yeah, absolutely. Come okay. on. Yeah, Adams, yeah. one of the people. Adams, one of the women that they rape. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about. Right. Adams like, one could of the, be the consigliere. Adams, the ugliest stripper <laughs> at the Bing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one Ralphie <laughs> fucking murders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Ralphie. Imagine Ralphie. Ralphie is, have you gotten that first far of in all? Series? Oh wow, well, uh, no, that's pretty funny. Ralphie, it's your baby. Yeah. <laughs> first of all, he was a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You just beat Adam to death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I so said I'm, he I'm wasn't. Be able to think of that <laughs> when I see that. Oh uh, yeah, spoiler alert. Sorry. Um, um, although like, you know poor. what, that's uh, so funny when he's like, "If it's a girl, we'll name her Tracy." Or no, it's if it's a girl, we'll name her Tracy. She can be a cocksucking slob <laughs> like her mother. <laughs> One of the funny, <laughs> one of the funniest things too in Sopranos is is the way that and and, and it's so subtle. But Phil Leotardo, mm-hmm. his his original name was Leonardo, uh-huh. and they changed it to Leotardo at Ellis Island, and he's like really sore about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like Leotardo. Yeah, that's that, my legacy. Yeah. And it's so it's so that name I so know. subtly has the word tard in it. I know it's beautiful. <laughs> They're <laughs> masters of comedy. Yeah, even they there's like a little tard joke in there. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Um, that's uh, that's HBO. Every great comedy of the past fifty years has a tar joke in it. Yeah, somewhere. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If you look for far enough. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We probably be, honestly maybe we're maybe we're more of the the Goodfellas model where it's not a formal mafia family. You know. Uh huh. I feel like you guys uh, are like a crew. Oh, okay, you're like a crew. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a crew. Mm. You know. In fact. I, again, and then who's the family? Just comedy in in general? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, we're kind of we're maybe we Chapo kind of, is like the guy, like the legitimate guys that kind of look down on you, right? But right, they right. use you to do their dirty work, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. 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 we yeah, we have a loose connection that's not formal, but you know, we still we'll do some work. Yeah, um, <laughs> somebody should draw that. Come yeah. down as a crime family. Yeah, absolutely. I would yeah. love that. Yeah. I want to make I want to make the Sopranos where, but it's like I'm. Tony just to piss Nick off mm-hmm. and then 
I don't know. Just claiming the yeah. best one. Yeah, for sure. And then like everyone else that we talk, everyone who's been on the show, and then just really far in the back, Adam. <laughs> just like you can barely, you barely, <laughs> see, barely see, you him. barely see Adam. He's, He's like poking Waldo. his head through the fucking door trying to get in. <laughs> I told you he made me drive in the Costco. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, he yeah. calls me the day before New Year's Eve. He's like, "Do you have to go to Costco? Because uh, I I got to return a suitcase." <laughs> yeah. So he just needed a free ride to return. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. did a little bit of shopping, but the suitcase was so big. It took up like the whole trunk. Yeah. No, that's brutal. No, you fell for one of his <laughs> which, tricks. Which I think, I know we joke around about like race and stuff. Yes. But I really think that Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. And unfortunately, because of my upbringing, I yeah. share your opinion. You do? do you know what I mean? No, like, just, just not from my parents, just from right, general experience. Right, like, right, right. Like, like being a mover and having a truck and stuff. I really think Jewish parents teach their kids how to take advantage of people like from an early age <laughs> because every it's time you, yeah before you get to do your bar mitzvah yeah you have to learn so that's one of the things that's in what's the Cor- in, the in the torah yeah yeah i was almost said quran yeah. yeah it's one of the it's one of the books in the fucking torah yeah is how to fucking trick gentiles into doing <laughs> manual labor course. for yeah. you yeah, right. yeah because that'll happen like I, and just just friends that i have they'll be like can you move this couch for me i'm like i'm working all day i'll be working till midnight they're like well, what about after midnight? Right, you know, right, right, take right. No for an answer. They, they yeah. don't respect your your labor. Yeah, of course. There's a weird, um, and it's also like something I'm jealous of almost, where it's like putting your desires over other people. Yeah, you know, where it's like I'm like, you know, I'll ask for something. I, I'm I'm I always feel bad even asking about anything. You right. know what I mean? It's like I feel like a fucking piece of shit even like asking for a favor that's yeah. that's reasonable. And I think that comes from having abusive Southern European parents. Honestly, I think so, too. That is kind of the culture. You ask for something, you get a fucking backhand type of situation, you know, so I'm scared to assert myself in any way. Yeah. And then but then what you think is your dad's a fucking tough guy. No, he's actually also a pussy. Your dad's That's a pussy, why yeah. he hits you is yeah, because yeah. Every, the world he's too afraid to go to the yes, bowling yeah, alley. Right, right, right. He's getting bullied. Yeah. It was so uh depressing when I found out my father was a adult loser. Uh-huh. Like his friends were the gay old Greek guys. Like right. my dad's in the shitty crew. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like he hangs out at the gay hall coffee house to uh-huh. like none of the cool guys. Oh yeah. Hang does? out. Oh yeah, yeah. Like all his friends are fucking losers. And he goes those are the cool and they're like, Yo, no, you're not invited. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's oh, like man. they're just sort of like, you know, tur- th- you know, turning their nose up to him. Yeah. Um my my dad got into a fight at a Wegman's parking lot one time and he was like Beautiful. Yeah, he was like, Yeah, you step out of the car, I'll, I'll beat your fucking head in. And he like drives <laughs> away in our minivan. <laughs> and I'm like, nobody respects you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to work on that. I got some of that anger. I've gotten a couple road rage incidents. Yeah. Some guy threatened me with his son in the car. <laughs> and I was like, well, you're going to fucking beat me yeah, up with your right. son here, you fucking right. animal? Right. And it was like, he was like, keep driving. I was like, shut the fuck up. That's and he when just, you chase yeah. him around the car and you take the car with his son yeah, in it. Yeah. You drive it into a lake. <laughs> That's another thing we learned <laughs> That's a good as one. the children of immigrants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck, I would have loved to. I do like knowing that I that kid will talk about me in therapy in like 15 years. You think? Oh, I mean, that was a fuck. I mean, either that Why, or- What happened? But it wasn't like you did anything. To, well, like, the, the guy was fucking- like you. It was like- yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe if his kid was there, I would have fought this old man. Like, I don't know. It was that- oh, was an old man? It, he was like older, yeah. I mean, I would have fucking- He was just some fat old guy who yeah. clearly- and I was just like, I also was not having it that day. I also was being trodden upon by the world. Yeah. But I just happened to be younger and at yeah. that time better shaped than him. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was like a fucking heated exchange and this fucking, and then I feel bad. I see the kid and I'm like, I'm not going to yeah. stop because I have problems. Yeah. <laughs> I still kind of feel bad about this. One time I was doing a moving job and I flipped out on this guy, this like old, like 87 year old man in like a seersucker suit, oh, no. like a striped suit yeah, yeah, yeah. and like a little straw hat. Mm-hmm. Like he was in the music man. Why was he dressed like that? <laughs> yeah. He's just, he's like super old. And yeah, that's, yeah, you yeah. know, I guess that's from his time. <laughs> right, right. But right. my van was double parked and he couldn't, and he walks by and he's like, why don't you move the van over here? And he's like, stupid. And I just start like screaming at this guy. I'm like, I think I told told him to like die of AIDS or something. <laughs> I still feel kind of bad about that. But I, I mean, mean, he I shouldn't have called you stupid. He, yeah, he didn't have to he be. Wasn't, yeah, no, he's child. lucky he's, I didn't kill him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree, dude. He's, I he hope he's listening. Yeah, he's definitely listening. He's dead for sure. <laughs> yeah. He's dead, dead of AIDS. 
Yeah. That would be ironic <laughs> to get <laughs> AIDS at 87. <laughs> I mean, right. at least the man's fucking into his golden years. At that point, he just like wanders into a game or accidentally. Yeah, yeah. It's in the air. It's so, the, yeah. the air is so thick with Someone's AIDS cum. <laughs> Can I just use the phone? I'm trying to call my grandson. Some, some guy sneezes on him. Um, he gets a hug. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mr. Wallace, you have full-blown AIDS. Oh, boy. Well, one thing I was reading about, we're talking about uh, organized crime in Greece. Yes. The the culture in Greece sort of lends itself to corruption. Oh, my God. That's that's the thing is everyone is so fucking corrupt. Like, yeah. no one pays their taxes. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. fucking uncle was like, uh, uh, like career, that's what I was reading about, yeah. career employee at the National Bank of Greece. Yeah, like, yeah. Most Just square under the table. A fucking right. like s- the biggest square you've ever seen in your life. A fucking yeah. loser. Yeah. You know what I mean? Looks like a nerd. Fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. Like fucked one, my my uh, my un- my aunt. He's never fucked in his life. One woman. Yeah. And he didn't pay his taxes. Yeah. He like is looking at How? it's like they just paid him cash. Just, they just know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck they do. They're always that guy is always looking to game the fucking system. It's like that's yeah. just the fucking. If you're not doing that, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah. It's like you you get laughed at for paying your taxes. Right. And that's, I mean, you wonder why the fuck, I mean, we got fucked by banks and everything too, don't get me wrong, but yeah. also, it couldn't, you know. That's what my dad told me too, because we had a restaurant in Trenton, and I was mm-hmm. like, so what do you do with all the cash at the end of the night? Like, where does it go? Where does it, and he's like, well, you know, it goes into a safe. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, it goes into a safe, and, um, you know, you know, you're supposed to technically claim it he's like right <laughs> but let me tell you something everybody does it jews everybody <laughs> <laughs> i mean my father was the yeah. same way he, he, he like it. we he he fucking ran a successful business for years now yeah. it's not successful yeah. and he showed maybe like ten thousand dollars of fucking income a yeah. year you know it's like he just got paid in cash yeah and i'm well, not our say- job too it's like you know you do a gig, you do a gig for 400 bucks you drive there you pay for gas you pay for food it's like what am i i'm, I'm gonna Right. I'm going to claim this. It's brutal. Come pry out of my dead hands. I know. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not saying I would do this, but let's right. say in theory you got a nice amount of cash for certain gigs. Yeah. Maybe you just go grocery shopping with right, it. Maybe it right, never right. hits a bank account. Right, you know what I mean? Right, Maybe right. Uncle Sam don't got to know about that <laughs> for yeah. hundo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 But... I mean, yeah, they're it's a it's a horrible they're horrible people overall in Greece. It's uh well, very hospitable. Thing, uh, yeah. They're very nice to you, but yeah, mm-hmm. in terms of like well, you know, you got to be gaming the system. Grip. But, that's well, the, the, thing, but no the other side of the coin is the government is shitty too. So people don't sure. feel like they're getting anything out of. Well, you have you to know, bribe the government for anything, really. I mean, that was, yeah, that's yeah. totally how it went. Because everything uh. is like, because it is like socialist democracy or whatever. And don't get me wrong, it's still a better system than what we have here because mm. at least you get to see a fucking doctor. Yeah, and it's the way it works is almost like at least you're not spending your money on the war machine, man. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I dismantle the system. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so you would have to, like, if you wanted to, like, kind of skip the line, like, my grandmother needed dialysis, and they literally bribed someone to get her, her treatment in, like, an effective manner. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, that's how it works. Like, they, it's, it's well known. They call it the envelope, mm-hmm. the, the fakelaki, the little envelope. You want something to get done? You want a permit? You want anything? Yeah. Well known in any amount of government. It's like, throw a little fucking little envelope at his ass, yeah, and you'll yeah. get it, it'll grease the wheels right away. Right. They say the opposite of that is like Scandinavian countries where you pay a lot in taxes, but the government gives you pretty much everything. Right. Which I don't know if I want to live like that either. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think it's nice, dude. Scan- also, it's just like that country and that region is so strange. I don't think like, I yeah. can't, can you imagine? It's very homogenous too. Yeah. And everyone's kind thing. of polite, but in a very kind of distant way. Yeah. Like, well, there's you bring a that warmth. Up- yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Well, you bring that up to like right wingers and you're like, oh, Scandinavian countries, they have higher taxes and better social programs. And they go, they go, yeah, where everybody's white. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, you know what? Kind. That is a good point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, when you're right, you're, you're right. Like, uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> all right, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's what my uncle said once. He was like, yeah, when, when, you're, when your hotline's 1 800 America. For your for your defense, <laughs> you can have social programs. <laughs> anyway, who knows? It's incredible. We don't have that, to pretend to be smart. I know it is funny how much people hate welfare if black people are getting it though. Yeah. Like there's a there's Oof, a there's yeah. there's like a fucking 
there's studies that are done. That's and it's like, mostly Jews that are taking the yeah, Exactly. <laughs> it, well, you know, in Brooklyn, yeah. those motherfuckers are figuring out the system. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, fuck. Who cares? Yeah. Let's well. talk about whacking people or Greeks being fucking <laughs> corrupt pieces of shit. <laughs> well, here's something I think about a lot. I always, like, I try to break my friends down into, like, who would rat on me. And who would not? Okay. So, um, and that's, that's like a beautiful way to go about life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> in constant fear, constantly, ju- you know, <laughs> testing ones and friends. Zero. But I know you're. But, but, but you know what I mean. There's certain people who just it, wouldn't. Roll. I don't think you, you know. Would, yeah, no, yeah. I wouldn't. I would Adam, not flip. Adam would uh, flip, flip before he was beat. asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick's kind of a wild card. You don't. I, you know, Nick but, wouldn't flip. No, he really wouldn't. Okay. He he's actually the one. He has the most principles. He yeah. is one of the most fucked up, like, in the head. He's fucking, you know, such a strange, odd motherfucker, uh-huh. you know? But, like, uh, he sticks to his principles in a way that, he's a, like, he's other a loyal people. guy. Too. Very loyal. And also, yeah. even more than loyal. More so than loyal. Just has, literally does have, like, a things he believes and sticks by them, even if they're fucking retarded or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's, like, if I, he would never, I don't think he would flip more so for loyalty out of his code of being a guy who doesn't flip right. than the actual... You know, he might even, you know, he'd protect Adam for, for fuck's sake, you know, you and he'd love to, yeah. Yeah. Even though he'd love to send him to jail to get raped or whatever, you know, <laughs> he, would, he would protect him. Great it's, like that, it's like that meme, it's like that meme where the superhero is trying to decide what to do and it's yeah. like, send Adam to jail to get raped. Yeah. Don't betray yeah. my principles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which yes. one? Nick would not rat. So, so I want to ask, because the other night I'm having a conversation with a friend of mine, a comic, a guy mm-hmm. that we know, and uh, we were talking about pedophilia. Nice. Okay. Which is, I only talk about three things. Yes. That's one of, of course, them. Pedophilia. Yeah. But, uh, big naturals. Yeah. And uh, ma- uh, marinara sauce. <laughs> that's the big three. <laughs> right. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> And then death. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> but um so so I was saying to this guy, I'm like, my girlfriend's cousin has this Instagram and she's like ten years old and she's always like like I'm doing a bit about this. Like, I can tell the difference between a hot kid sure. and a regular one. <laughs> of course. You know? Yeah, yeah. You're saying and they're like, gonna become hot? She's yeah, obviously yeah, definitely yeah, going to yeah. become hot. Gotcha. But but you can see like she's you know, all these like sexy photos with the dog tongue. Yeah. Like if I was her dad, I'd be terrified. Of course. But then it's like, what do you say to that? You're like, stop being sexy on the internet. Right, stop being so hot. You know? I'm fucking hard over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm talking to this guy about this and I'm like, yeah, like what, what would you say? And he's like, he's like, I'm going to give you some advice as your friend. I'm kind of doing it. You could probably piece together who it uh-huh. is. He's like, I'm going to give you some advice to your friend. He's like, never Jeff look Fox it. Worthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he might be a pedophile. If you want to fuck your daughter because she uses the Snapchat dog filter, <laughs> you might be a pedophile. <laughs> His career just takes like a, yeah, yeah a 180. Yeah. <laughs> you might be a pedophile. I um, love it. But he's like, I'm going to give you some advice. He's like, never look at this Instagram ever again. And I'm like, why? I don't understand. My my question is, can you trust someone who's that afraid? Oh, interesting. You think you think he has come up against sexy children that he wants to fuck before? Like he's telling you, like uh, the way the no, way I'm just saying, like the way an alcohol- bank together, the way an alcoholic <laughs> is like, just don't even smell the whiskey. Yeah, you think that he's like, don't even. <laughs> Take You'll a end look. up with your pants yeah, off yeah, yeah. in another state. <laughs> Trust me. No, I don't think that. I'm just like, could would this guy, this guy would probably rat on me if he's this afraid of some girl's Instagram. Interesting. Um, huh. So wait, what is he afraid of? I don't get it. Because the only thing I know. can think of is that... Yeah. The only thing I can think, I mean, I mean, why are I mean, it is, I don't know why you would be looking at it, to be honest. I mean, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, it's like, what is the reason to look at it? But it's yeah. like, let's say you stump. I mean, yeah, is it in it's your just, bookmarks? What's going on no, here? Because yeah. <laughs> like, I started against him, but now I'm thinking through it. And I'm like, what is. But um, you think well, you just, just kind of follow each other. But, but it makes me think about, you know, kids on the Internet and like right, how, right, what, right. what you would. Right, what right, you would right. Do. But right. I don't know. Is it a. Is it a big deal? Should I unfollow her? I mean, it's a lot of... It's rude to unfollow her, right? Yeah. She's like a... she's What is she? Your girlfriend's Family? cousin? Cousin, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. rude. It would yeah. be like, why did Mike unfollow me? Right. Because cause, cause then what do you say? Well, you're just too fucking hot. <laughs> Mom, Mike kept getting fucking... Kept asking me why I couldn't do my hair like you do your hair. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I come home, it's like, hey. wear this. It's like a fucking, uh, uh, you went to limited two I buy or whatever. Deb clothes yeah. and she yeah. realizes that it's just all her. Um, no, I can say with confidence that I'm not attracted. Not attracted to this child. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. That's good, man. Good yeah, to fucking yeah. go out great, on a limb. Great yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, <sighs> what? I don't see what he's scared of though in this that, that's situation. That's the thing that I. And then I was I saw him the other night, and uh, another comic was on stage, and he was like, "Oh man, this guy's filthy." Ugh. And it's just like. Well, that you can't trust. A comic that that's says I, someone is fil- another comic is filthy. Yeah, that's a guy. Then he went up and kind of made it funny how he was, you know, he contrasted his. Sure, act sure, 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 sure. But sure. um, yeah, it's just like why? Why that's is this bitch made? By the way, even if you don't to, that's like what a fucking old lady says, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who he's clutching his pearls because someone said cunt or whatever. Like what yeah, the fuck yeah. is he? <laughs> You're a stand-up comic. I, that's what I, I. It's very weird. It's very part weird. of his, is it like part it's of a his guy character? that I like very much. Yeah, very yeah, funny yeah. guy, but uh. But um, I mean, but also we are animals, to be fair. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is, like, like, I forget that I also like most of humanity would be repulsed mm-hmm. at like my text messages that I don't even. Yeah, find most offensive. of the people who you listen I mean? to us are broken people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And but it's like, they'll take a fucking bullet for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Salute. Salute to the cum boys out there. <laughs> yeah. And the cum girls. What's up? Yeah. If you ever want to get uh if you ever want to fuck a toothless man, <laughs> yeah. your boy your boy's missing his front right uh tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Tim Dillon was telling me that like the, the Saturday Night Live people have the best fans. But I was like, but if you're not on the show next year, they're gonna they're not gonna show up. I don't know, dude. Fucking finesse Mitchell was on the show for like a year and he was headlining for like Eight years afterwards yeah. and doing pretty good numbers. Okay, it's like it's it's not that they have the best fans. It's yeah, such the black people support each other. Yeah, we don't support white people. Don't support each other. <laughs> I don't know. What about fucking? So you got to just be a Unless real fucking meatball, like Manis, Sebastian Manis Galgo. Yeah, it's yeah, got to yeah. be identity politics for white people. You yeah. know what I mean? You got to be like, there's the fucking source. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> it's just like me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking marinara drinking retard myself. <laughs> it's just exactly the guy. I mean, he's very fine, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy's sure. literally selling out fucking arenas now. It's wild. Yeah. But yeah, it's Good like whoever him. pops. Really, it feels like it's almost like it's nice to see a member of the team do well. Oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. yeah, the yeah. Is he the most? Is this the, is he the highest ranking comedy Italian for sure? Right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at the moment, for sure. Who in the past? Who's it been? I guess Pat Cooper. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. We're not really stand ups. Yeah, I guess you're right. I, n- I never. We don't really that. sit down and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really know how to read. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're not really literate. Express yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. I would have imagined there'd be way more Italians that were stand. I guess Dom mm-hmm. Herrera. Dom Herrera. Funny. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. It's like it really is a fucking. Some of them just Jewish. like hide it. <laughs> yeah, Jews. Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. Some they hide their. Yeah, they're ashamed of their. Like name. who? Well, Pat Cooper's name is like that's Pasquale true. Caputo. That's true. Yeah. And then, Whoa, uh, that's such a cooler name. Yeah. Pasquale is a great fucking name. But you know, back then. Yeah, I know. You gotta hide it. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, so here's another thing I want to talk about because you know there's I I I have some information about the the guys in some of the organized crime guys in Greece. Yes, but I'd love to. I watched this video. Whatever you want to talk about, baby. Well, then let's go. Now let's let's go into this. I watched this video about uh, toxic masculinity. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, is this shit fucking real? Is toxic masculinity what is real? It? Yeah. I don't. You hear know. it all the time. Every time there's a fucking shooting, somebody goes, "We need." To, I I know what we have to do. We have to ban men, and especially white men. Right, right, right. You know, and it's well, like it almost. People, I uh, sorry to cut you off, but it yeah. almost I feel like is it we just for kind rich of people? Organically brought it up earlier, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what are we talking about? Our fucking fathers yeah. that are yelling because they don't know how to fucking. My father, if he just gone to therapy or whatever, or just talked about his feelings to his friends. Do you once, think? Yeah, I really believe that, dude. My dad. Yeah. I mean, my father got in a huge fight recently, like huge, you know, like relationship altering. I might never speak to my father again. Uh, Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he was bringing up shit from when my about that my grandfather told him 
in 1981. Mm-hmm. Shit that like I my grandfather died before I was fucking born, dude. Yeah. Like he, she, that he shit is still in his head. He yeah. still get and and that and it's like why was he fucking abusive? Yeah. Why was he like breaking shit all the time to make a point? Why was he fucking bullying his children and wife? Uh-huh. Because he never could fucking deal with anything. Yeah. And 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 honestly, I mean, if that's what toxic, it's funny because I have never read an article about it. Okay. I've never whatever. I've just heard people complain about it. Yeah. And I think we sort of. I but guess it seems that's like a pretty loose term. Yeah, it's it's sort of hard to yeah. define. I don't know. I I sort of like I I'm kind of resistant to it because it always feels like a pretty vague term, mm-hmm. and it's also like. It seems like it's just for rich people right. to examine what it means to be. Because, like, if you're working class and you're working like a twelve hour day, and your coworker and you're like, "I'm tired," your coworker's like, "Yo, man, the fuck up." It's kind of like, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes right. you need a degree of that. Right, right, right. So I mean, your I employer can fuck you over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess. I mean, in that case, sure. I mean, and I don't know exactly what the definition is, but I guess it's like if it. I literally. I mean, if it's just like you know, people taking out their fucking little frustrations in a fucked up, violent way on those, you know, weaker than them. Mm-hmm. If it's, you know, what my father did, then yeah, I think it's real. But if it's yeah. like, you know, saying man up or don't be a pussy. If, if like, if we're ta- if we're saying calling kids pussies is yeah, wrong yeah, yeah. Yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. it's like, I, I mean, you know, come on. We have so many bigger fish to fry before we get there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It might be a problem. I guess you do have know. to adapt to that a little bit because I feel like the East Coast, you do grow up with that culture of like... Oh, yeah, getting you know, bullied, yeah, being getting called bullied, a bitch. Yeah, getting bullied, don't be a bitch, don't be a pussy, right, right, don't right. be gay. Right, right, right. Yeah. All things... Now are, we're just all, free to be gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's like, be yeah. gay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Suck that guy off. <laughs> but, uh... I but, don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But, I'm also stupid. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're also always like, oh, we're going to redefine what it means to be a man. Right. It's like, but what what is that? I don't know. It doesn't seem like. I want to say always- like same team when they say toxic masculinity, you know, because they're like, they're not talking about us. Right. Or they're not talking about just right, regular we're pussies. <laughs> people, yeah, 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 you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But a lot of times it's like kind of like a sassy video where it's like, no, it is you. And oh, it's all about you. Right, so. right, right. There's a very accusatory tone to a lot of this kind of stuff. That yeah. Even if it shoots, I don't think it's particularly helpful, you right. know, because it's like if you're feeling ambushed, yeah. it's like, you know, I don't know if it's like, there is a weird thing where you just can't even have a conversation. It's like, if we're going to have, if fucking idiots like us are going to understand, fully understand like the trans experience or whatever, yeah. we are going to say some, hor- some horrifically, shit, yeah, yeah. horrifically fucked up things yeah. that are like, Offensive, yeah. But if you don't fuck it, I mean, I mean, think about what it out, right? Yeah, exactly. I really do believe that. It's like you were allowed to just say fucked up shit, and you could you could be corrected on it, but not like burn this motherfucker to the ground if he says something fucked up. You know, I feel like being trans is like it must be like you ever leave the house with like dirty socks. (laughs) <laughs> that's probably what it feels like yeah I and then when you too. get your dick chopped off you yeah. guys like yeah, wearing yeah, clean yeah. socks I hate wearing dirty socks dirty more socks. than anything else the second um, they take that fucking remember in school where they had the fucking uh, they chopped whoa. a big piece of paper that like that like uh, the art teacher had oh, like the, the, yeah 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 yeah. Uh, yeah 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 as soon as they fucking run your cock through one of those bad boys, then your fucking You're toes like, are sparkling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Nice dry pair. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. That's exactly what being trans is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to relate though, but I don't no, know. No, I don't no, know no. I know what you mean. I don't yeah. fucking know, dude. Did you ever think like, oh, maybe if I'd be happier if I was a woman? Did you ever you ever ask yourself, maybe I'm trans? You know, when you're a kid and you're like 13 and you don't know anything, you know, you probably ask yourself stuff like that. Yeah. But I remember laying in bed one time in high school being like, what if I had tits and a pussy? Would nice. that be my life <laughs> yeah, better? Yeah, yeah. But it's just not. Yeah. Not I remember I, I was talking to Mateo and he was talking about mm-hmm. how he'll sometimes fuck a guy in the ass, but usually he gets fucked in the ass because uh-huh. like it's he's like being a bottom. There's so much less pressure. It's like when you're a top, it's like you got you to gotta definitely be hard. You got to perform. You got to take charge. And I was like. Oh, yeah, being a bottom sounds great. It's like, is there a way to be a bottom with a woman? Like, is there a way? Where yeah, I can, yeah, I don't know. What is, what is it? That's, Not a that's, good one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I tweeted that uh, I was like, say it with me, everyone. Guns are gay. Uh-huh. And I guess Mateo got, he was like, you know, he's like, people are kind of sensitive. And also the biggest mass shooting was at a gay nightclub. Ooh, that is true. Yeah, yeah. But it's not. It was Vegas. Oh, yeah. Vegas. Get over is, your which is self. gay. Vegas is very gay, though. Right. To be fair, it's like Celine Dion concert. It's, a country music concert. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like you know, 
It, it, it is the gayest city outside of, mm-hmm. I guess, you know. what What is the gayest city? Probably Vegas. I mean, San Francisco's hack yeah. to say San Francisco, but you got Barry Manilow. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I love more than a nice deep dish nice pizza and, my, and a, hard, <laughs> a hard cack. A, a nice hard cack. <laughs> the bears. <laughs> I love the bears. I like love the getting double ass raped by the bears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little double entendre. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, Mike. I Take stepped, that. That's all right. stepped on that one. Somebody. That's a good one. Our listener will uh, <laughs> pause it, slow it down. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the Valenza family. I they, love it, dude. They operated Give me in a rundown. A story in New York and Queens during the 1980s and 1990s. Oh, they they we had just lucrative. Missed them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just on their way out. Yeah. yeah the, the boss of the family is uh, in prison right now, serving oh. a life sentence. Um, For what? I'm sorry to cut you off. Do you I have guess, a whole I rundown? I think it was murder. Yeah, we got a nice, rundown. Nice. But uh, conspiracy or something like that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, there's a guy that I know. He works at this ice cream shop in uh, Williamsburg, mm-hmm. and he went away for like 20 years Whoa. To, for conspiracy. Oh, tight. And he had three daughters, so they were like five, three, and one when he went away. Whew. So he's big. He's like, you know, he feels bad, obviously. He wasn't there for his kids. Yeah. But like, you know, kind of sucks. Damn, so he was Has mobbed cons- up? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He's with an ice we'll cream go by there. I would yeah, love to go by there. <laughs> In Williamsburg? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Let's go. I told you that story, right, about the mirror? No. I, I was doing a moving job, and I broke a mirror, and this guy who I worked with was, like, the biggest scumbag ever, <laughs> Yeah. and he was, like, trying to get me to pay for the mirror that I broke, mm-hmm. so I went to the ice cream shop, and I was like, yeah, this guy's trying to get me to pay money, and he's like, he's you're not lying to us, right? <laughs> and I'm like, no. He's like, all right, send him over here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, that's like, just like Godfather like, too. He's like, tell him I got his money. What? Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, it's like the greatest. Wow, yeah, the dude. Greatest. <laughs> yeah, that to rules. Be, to be mobbed up, I mean, it's <sighs> like it must be the the best, best feeling, the best of all fucking time. feeling in the world. Yeah. There's guys who the got power. away with it, dude. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, there, there, are, there are a few, and that's got to feel awesome. Yeah, you're one of the few people. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Like, oh, there was another guy there and he he's a Jewish guy and he's mm-hmm. got tattoos all over his body. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's um he's got two teardrop tattoos. OK. And the other guy is like, yeah, those are just the people he felt bad about. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus fucking Christ. That's yeah. a dark joke. Good and, God. And one thing, <laughs> He's like, because one of them was like, uh, oh, please don't do it. I'm a Jew like you. And the guy killed him anyway. Of course. He's yeah. on, you know, because it was business. You understand. It's yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, wait, how much are you making this? Oh, please. All right. All right. Take my life. I guess that is kind of the agreement that you go into. You're like, oh, they might kill me, but whatever. Yeah, you know that. You know you're you're probably going to die or go to jail. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. So then there was another guy in the neighborhood. He was like this crazy guy, and he had this store. And he was like, I guess he was like harassing girls or something. <laughs> but he had this store that was just, it was just junk in the store. Awesome. He was like, so just barely a front. Yeah. <laughs> barely <laughs> fucking capable to be a front. Yeah. And he would like walk around with his shirt off and stuff. I don't know. It was a very nice. weird situation. But, um, <laughs> but he was up at the ice cream parlor mm-hmm. and the one guy was like, listen, we're, we, he, he's like, listen, we're tired of warning you about this stuff. And the guy starts talking. And then the other guy, the Jewish guy is like, you know what? I'm going to hit this guy with a pipe. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he walks in the store and he comes out with a fucking pipe <laughs> and he starts like chasing the guy down the street. <laughs> this is a current day. It was like maybe six years ago. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, nice. Just chase the guy right down the street with a pipe, and it's like beautiful. You can't not respect those guys. <laughs> oh, I know it's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. It's fucked up, but yeah, you look. Up, it is hard to not look up to them in some fucked up way. Yeah, but but there's always goes- that paradox of like if you came to them and said, you know, my husband hit me or you had a problem with somebody, they would. Yeah, but then if, would- but then you owe them something, and then if. If, okay, you, you know, you but then something. after you owe them, something, it's like, and if putting you in complete harm's way means getting whatever, yeah, they don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, they don't. They're, they're also, no, they're all yeah, psychopaths. They're psych- yeah. You become once. It's like you can you can actually have a pretty good relationship with them. It's like the I go back to Sopranos always, but it's like yeah. the the sporting goods store guy. Yeah, you know, it's like before that, him and Tony were actually friends. They yeah. were boys. They went to yeah. high school together. They were friends. And he's like. You sure you want to take this fucking act? Because he's like, what? and it's like once he takes that bet, yeah, he's not a fucking person anymore. They're so All good in that, that show of, of reminding you that Tony is just a complete monster. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
What? But um, I, he's just yeah. a guy that likes ducks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he seems okay. But they were like, "This guy, Kevin, what, what, what nationality?" Because they always want to know like the guy's nationality uh-huh. for some reason. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know. They're like, I wonder he's why. probably Irish. And then the next time I, w- I went, the Jewish guy was like. Where's that Irish bastard, Kevin? <laughs> Tell him I got his money. <laughs> and I was like, thanks, Kevin. Because this guy was like calling me up, telling me like I'm outside your house. I see your girlfriend. Like, really? Give me the money. The mirror guy? Yeah, the, the guy from the moving company. Oh, my God. Which he was full of shit, but wow. it was still kind of like, fucked all right, him I got to do something about this. Yeah, we should We should have fucked up. What's that Irish bastard, Kevin, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is he but still he around? Had, yeah, but he had a kid, too. He had like this fat, like kind of retarded kid that he would like... <laughs> <laughs> bring bring with them to on the jobs. Uh, nice. Yeah. Get a little ringer in there. Fat Use Irish some of that natural strength. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just remember this story. I had this friend, Mark, a few years ago. He was from Maryland, uh-huh. and he was trying to get rid of his girlfriend's dog because okay. he didn't like it. He had a dog, too, but he just wanted the dog. <laughs> right, 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 right. And right. he's trying to pass the dog off to me, like sell me the dog. Uh-huh. And he's like, this guy was like so dumb. He's like, you have a brother who's like, oh. Like, kind of slow, right? <laughs> like, yeah, he's like, yeah, so actually, like, Jackson is actually very good with retarded people. Oh, awesome, dude. <laughs> he's trying to he's yeah. pass him off as, a, as the, your dog is a retard, the retard whisperer. whisperer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson so. sounds like it could be, like, a great, like, Android app. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Listen, your brother's slow. Yeah. So Spiro Valensis, he yes. runs in Astoria. He uh, Great so name. he was he was close with the Lucchese family. Uh, okay. Anthony Gaspipe Casso of the Lucchese family was his uh, sort of his contact. And uh, because of his relationship with the Lucchese family, he was very good at keeping um, other immigrants out of his gambling racket. Beautiful. Yeah. So it's like you go to America, you're like, we're going to start a new life. Get right. a, with a casino. <laughs> right, like, right, right. Nope. No, you're not. <laughs> you're going to work so in a bookie or like uh, underground casinos or? I think it was, yeah, like dice take- games. Oh, nice. Some loan sharking. Beautiful. Some, uh, and horse some horse racing, horse racing. Uh, via horse satellite, racing. And he was at, horse racing wow. via satellite. So they would broadcast games in, like from other countries. Oh shit! And he was accused of having the games on a delay, so he would know oh, who won the game. That rules. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god. So some factory worker who you know bets his whole paycheck. Yep. Loses money. Hey, fuck him, dude. Yeah, it's a losing <laughs> game. Fuck him. Hey everyone, that reminds me. Bet DSI. Do you like to <laughs> do you like to gamble? And are you also autistic? Uh, we should we should try to find some. I'm sure there's a casino here or something that we could go to. Atlantic, right? For sure. There's casinos yeah. all over the place. There's uh there's the fucking no like an underground casino. Oh, underground. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we could just go to regular casinos. They don't have uh, cards yeah. at the uh, Aqueduct one. They they don't. It's all like uh, what, it's what like video it? blackjack. Oh, really? There's yeah. a there's a casino like in fucking Yonkers. Oh yeah, you got a yeah. there's this horrible gig okay. there. Okay, uh, so they have some kind of gambling there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good to know. Go to Mohegan Sun sometimes, but you want to go to a fucking underground one. Yeah, <laughs> all right. It's like all right. I would be down, I guess. Yeah. So uh, after attempting to expand operations into areas controlled by the Gambino family, the Valences retreated to their enclaves after a warning from the Gambinos. They Uh-oh. tried to uh, so tried yeah. to get a little. Muscle on their territory. Yeah. Oh, shit. They say that, like... Fucking these... greedy Greeks, man. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> I guess I guess the Italians were just too powerful at that point to uh, to go against them. Yeah. Well, he... But wasn't he... He was... He was. Uh, he had protection from one of the families, didn't you say? The Lucchese. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he thought the Lucchese would have their backs or something? I don't get it. I, I guess, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. the Gambinos were, like, the most powerful. Gotcha, family, gotcha, so. gotcha. Yeah, I yeah. feel like all five Italian families wouldn't just allow a sixth Greek... Family, or like, but it's no. probably small but time shit. It was smaller the, time, the, yeah. The, right, like, grand they scheme of things. They didn't really have the organization that, uh, right? Yeah, the, too the fucking Italians. lazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not enough. Of a, the story isn't what it is now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that kind of like pow, pow, paramilitary structure where there's ranks and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. A, I mean, how cool would that be to be a capo? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it'd be so great. Yeah, yeah. It would be nice you to have some little structure in my life. Yeah, it comedy sure so structureless and horrible. Mm-hmm. You know, you go from open mic or just being on TV and you suck. You know what I mean? It's like that person's famous, and now then you and don't then. have the respect of other people because it's like they're like, "Oh, yeah, this guy." Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Elevated yeah. too quickly. It's not what yeah. I. It's not what uh, I thought it would. Kind of what you know. Kind of what I, I'm all. I'm full of fucking Sopranos analogies, but it's like kind of how they were treating Chris right when he got made. Uh-huh. A couple people were like, you know. 
Did he really deserve it this quick? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure. I love There's that. a lot of that stuff in <laughs> yeah. comedy, too. Totally, right? totally. Yeah. And honestly, I'm one of the people that does it. Like, I do. I like, it's like, there is something that's like, if you're not that fucking funny, it's like, I'm not, I'm not going to be mean to you, but it's yeah. like, I'm not going to artistically respect what you do either. You right. know? Right. We're all fucking losers, though. <laughs> yeah, we sure are. <laughs> yeah, we sure are. That's I truth. couldn't get made. I'm a, not Italian at all. Oh. You know, I could only be an associate. I couldn't either, though. I got my fucking mud races in me. <laughs> oh, really? You'd have <laughs> to be Polish and Irish. Be, yeah, you're right. All pure. Italian. Yeah. yeah. That's mm. all right. Wait, it, well, didn't one of the families take, like, dirty blood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think maybe the Bananos did. Yeah, you could have joined there, I think. Mm-hmm. But you'd be running drugs. Yeah. They were the only uh, drug runners then, of course. in the city. They were. They didn't care about racial purity, <laughs> you know, so they... And look what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were the Rosado brothers, like, from... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember those uh, those computer training commercials with this guy, John, I don't know, John Scherer or something, but he's bald and he's got a mustache? He looks like Frankie Pentangeli. No, I don't. But he don't. does computer software training No, videos. I don't remember that. Yeah. It was like the only time I made my dad laugh. That commercial came on. I was like, hey, you got to you got one how to use the computer. <laughs> I don't remember that. Maybe it's regional. Yeah. So there was another, uh, in Philly, there was some Greek. Some I like that, by the way. The Greeks were just like fucking, they were just like, didn't do any of their own legwork. Just kind of fucking use the Italians for shelter. Just yeah. lazy assholes running a fucking dice game. Yeah, they just weren't as big. I mean, they paid the, they paid the Lucchese. Yeah. So. Makes yeah, that's sense. why I feel like they just kind of got away with it, you know. When heat started coming, they're like, "Fuck, you know, I'm gonna go." But how are you so powerful that you get mode. a piece of everybody else's racket? That's what I want to know. Because you just fucking, because you're the guy. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. you'll fucking kill you have someone a lot of if soldiers, they take a piece of you. Yeah, exactly. You have people constantly wanting to prove themselves to you, so it's like you could make them do fucking dangerous shit, mm-hmm. like kill people. I guess. Yeah. I also did love in The Sopranos how like just nonchalant they were about certain murders. Yeah. Like, it really was just a chore you had to do at a certain point. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything more, but, yeah. Like, there's which just, ones? Uh, I mean, there's just, like... I played the pinball game, so there's, like, it gives away every death, okay, so don't okay, worry about okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like when the fucking guy kills himself. Oh, Eugene? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like, right before he does that, he just, like, he's like, ah... You know, I'm kind of trying to get out. It's like, hey, look, man, you got to do what you got to do. He's like, fine. And yeah. he just goes, just like the nonchalantly Boston. kills the guy in, in the, the fast food yeah, restaurant. Yeah, 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 exactly. And just like, he's going home, just like rubbing blood into his map and shit. It's yeah. like, and they still don't let him leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hilarious. Well, how did those guys not get, some of those, it's like, how did they not get caught? Get caught. Yeah. Yeah, there's cameras and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Although maybe know. it's a period piece. Maybe you're not, you can't be as brazen mm-hmm. now with your murders. Yeah, you kill somebody today, there's going to be a million camera phones. Yeah. You, know? you got to take, <laughs> take out the whole subway car. Yeah. <laughs> um, Go back to that original clip. Which one? <laughs> oh, gun. yeah. This is fun to fuck around with just the sound effect of guns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You created Matt, turn, a nice little audio play. Yeah. Look at this. You're like, all right, <laughs> listen, we don't want your money. We want the bank's money. <laughs> Everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> It's coming low, coming low. Yeah, there we go. Stop screaming. <laughs> Shut that bitch up. Shut her up! Shut her up! <laughs> oh, my God. You got to keep the gun going after that. Oh, yeah. You got to keep the gun going, baby. Yeah, baby. Was that a little gun yeah. soundboard? Yeah. Nice. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. <laughs> he says good at YouTube. <laughs> so in Philly, there was some Greek mafia too, but there's not a lot of information on them because yeah. there were very few rats or defectors that have offered Beautiful. information Hear that? Uh, on the Greek mafia. Hear that, and you that fucking is, Dagos. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's our problem is we all want to be fucking Sinatra. Right. We all want to yeah, be right, movies. Right, right. Johnny like, Fontaine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even Lou Epolito, this corrupt cop who would kill people for the Lucchese family. Oh, wow. He was in Goodfellas. He has a little line in Goodfellas. Hilarious. Through the, yeah. Hilarious, dude. yeah. <laughs> they all fucking write books. They write their tell. They really books. do. They're yeah, like, they yeah. just love the spotlight because you're fucking much. drama queens, dude. <laughs> yeah, we are. You really are. We really yeah. are. Italians are pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you think about, it, I mean, if I'm, I'm, it's the same Eastern European shit. It's like, yeah, you know, fucking sweatsuit, no yeah. shirt, gold my, chains. My cousin from Italy sense. came to visit, and yeah, on his Facebook, there's a picture of him in like a red turtleneck and a blazer. Yeah, like, dude, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so gay. Is it gay or is it just like? Cool. European, yeah, 
European. Gay. Uh, it's gay. Yeah, it's fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Daniela. You fucking heifer. <laughs> uh, yeah, but these Greek guys, they don't they don't talk. Yeah, um, I knew a guy that I'm pretty sure was in the mafia. A friend of my father's. We would go. We mm-hmm. went to his... Uh, uh, we were in a custody battle with... Uh, so my cousin, um, her dad was a fucking piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, my aunt, who I, was my mom's sister... Passed away like unexpectedly. Uh-huh. She got sick, and so we were in a custody battle between the dad and us. Uh-huh. And we just we go to this guy's house for like maybe it was Easter. It was some kind of like just a cookout or something like that. And uh, <laughs> this guy literally is like, "Hey, listen." My dad's like complaining about. It. He's like, "I can't believe this guy. He's such a fucking pain in the ass. He's so bad for the kid. Whatever, whatever." And he's like, "That, that was your your aunt's husband." Yeah, 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 yeah. And my dad's complaining to this guy, and the guy's like, "All right, five thousand dollars." That guy goes away. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, I mean, that's what he told him. I mean, it was a friend discount, but yeah. that's also that's my dad's story, so he might be lying. But yeah, right. I think, I mean, and he was a fucking great guy, dude. That's yeah. the thing. No, they always guys are, are so yeah. fun and charismatic, and it's yeah. like, he really, you know. $5,000. How much is... for you to kill somebody? <laughs> I, I don't get caught. Yeah, but you got to live with it. I got to live with it. I mean, it depends. Who is it? How yeah. do I have to kill them? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know that I would kill someone, but. What's the price? I don't know. I would have to be financially secure for the rest of my life. No, I don't think a hundred grand would do it. So you think your work is better? Than, <laughs> Five thousand more than a hundred thousand dollars. I don't your think my, it's it's my conscious. It's not my work. I would be a horrible assassin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it would it would it would have to be a fat amount. It would have to be something where I could buy a house. Yeah. Put some in fucking savings. You know what I mean? Like yeah, put it yeah, in yeah. some fucking uh, a, a Roth IRA sure. or something so I know I'm okay. <laughs> it's got to be a tough thing to live with. Yeah. These guys, you watch interviews of them and it doesn't seem like it's no, that bothers them, but it, it, it must to some. <laughs> some of them. I feel, some like level, some, but yeah. I feel like some of them don't really give a fuck, dude. Mm-hmm. I really think that. I mean, you know, you don't want to say the army is the same way, but it's like half the people come back with PTSD and half of them are fucking... Yeah. You know, Business hitting usual. their fucking fat wives and just <laughs> yeah. fucking going about things, you right. know, going to Buffalo Wild Wings and having a nice time. Oh. I don't understand why you can't just come back and hit your wife like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hero. Uh, yeah. So in Philly, there were some guys who uh, they sold uh, they sold meth. They okay. sold amphetamines. But they worked under the protection of Angelo Bruno, the boss of Philadelphia. Nice. Now, once Angelo Bruno was uh, killed with a shotgun. Oh, shit. <laughs> he got got? Yeah, he got got. Nice. Um, he was killed by a guy named uh, Tony Capo Negro. Oh, wow. Well, you should have seen like that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. uh, but eventually, Nicky Scarfo became boss, and he levied a heavier street tax on everyone working for the mob. Gotcha. Um, so there was a guy named, I don't have his name, Petros. Petros something. Um, mm-hmm. Petros. Petros. But it's P-E-E. P- oh, that E's. must be his last name then. Yeah. So this guy refused to submit, Ugh. and uh, Scarfo probably had him, got him, got him. eliminated. Nice. Nicky Scarfa was not a very good boss. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he was like hard Johnny Sachs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot-headed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he consolidated power. He demanded too much of the guys. And gotcha, like, gotcha. That's, that usually is what happens. These street guys get yeah, you mad. Get, absolutely. They, the bosses demand too much, um, too much of a tax. You know? Yeah. And it's like they and will, they it's, you know, the working class will rise up. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Seize the means of production. <laughs> I mean, that was Gotti with uh, Sammy the Bull and Paul Castellano. You know, Paul Castellano sort of th- saw himself as like a businessman, mm. and he just demanded too much of the, the guy. So they yeah, they took him out. Yeah. Um, and that fucking rat, Sammy the Bull, had to fucking ruin flap, it all. flap his gums. <laughs> yeah, he's still alive. Uh, Sammy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're okay in our book. <laughs> We don't know why that happened. <laughs> we don't know why Wait, that isn't happened. he on? Uh, isn't he? Didn't he literally testify? Yeah, 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 yeah. Got so on. let's go to current day Astoria. Uh, in 2001, the Valencia fam- members of the Valencia Ooh, family were 2001. attacked. Yeah, pretty recent. Recent, yeah. 2001. What was <laughs> by, I doing? Like I was 2001, probably... we were getting attacked by uh, Iraq, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Saddam Hussein. Yep. No. Oh, yeah. Weapons Wait. of mass destruction. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Saddam flew the the planes <laughs> into the twin towers, two thousand one himself. Yeah. Uday and Hussein, his sons, <laughs> personally piloted. Do you flight. remember when Oprah did that big like pro Iraq war episode? No, I remember my mom watching it, but but Jesus it was like Christ, really? yeah, Oprah was very gung ho about going to Iraq. Our next president. 
Yeah. 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 Well, then yeah I hope like, so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Go off on those fucking children. Yeah. On those fucking over. Arab children, <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Yeah. Drone those drone those fucking toddlers, Queen. Drone Queen. Drone Queen. I just think that if finally a woman is blowing up weddings. <laughs> finally a woman is firebombing a wedding in Yemen. <laughs> dude, we're so fucking woke. <laughs> we are, dude. We oh. listened to two Chapo episodes yeah. and now we're experts. <laughs> I'm too stupid, man. I love those boys. Yeah. But uh, no, I was hanging out with them today. I feel like I I don't even talk around them, right? Because they just I mean they read. Yeah, reading and which is gay. We'll both <laughs> we, we, all three of us will <laughs> know. Hell, it's yeah. very gay to read. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm reading about the Phoenix Suns. The seven seconds are. Le- I can only read sports books. I'm trying to wean right. my way back into fucking. Yeah, you know, I'm reading about. Shit. I I got like the Idiot's Guide to the Mafia. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter two. I read that when I was in like high school. Really? Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. So this has been an obsession for a while, Michael. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it was I for me, know. too. It I was... need something to talk about. I need a theme. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me an ex- and my mom loved fucking mafia. Like, no joke, the reason I love mafia shit so much is my me and my mom had some real bonding over, like, the Godfather. Specifically, the Godfather. We had, like, a fucking great weekend. Mm-hmm. You'd go to, the, you'd go to the library, you'd get those fucking... It was like a double VHS, yeah. and we would just fucking watch mob movies, dude. Yeah. My mom loved that shit. Really? Nice. funny. Yeah, she's... The cutest, sweetest, like, little fucking fat Greek lady. And it's like, loves mafia movies. Yeah. Loves them. It is just fun for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, a little escapism. Godfather know? Part 2 has that intermission, too. And you're like, oh, there's a whole mm. other fucking yeah. side to this thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, ba- so in the early 2000s, there's another group of people, and they have a goal of being the new... They want to be the sixth family of New York. Uh-oh. And they're uh, Albanian, <laughs> baby. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> just the name is scary. Yeah. Albania. Yeah, the, I mean, the Bronx is, like, still, isn't it, like, Albanian mobbed up? That's where they started out. Right, right, yeah. right. And also, uh, I remember, like, that the war in Kosovo, seeing pictures of that when I was, like, in elementary school, just yeah. seeing pictures of bodies, like, oh, every yeah, day. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it must be a, you know. Oh, yeah, people from that part of the world are just fucking hardened, dude. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. So what happened was this guy, so so the, the Albanian, uh, they were a group that called themselves the Corporation. <laughs> <laughs> the pretty, Corporation. Pretty corny, but go ahead. Yeah. They were headed by a guy named uh, Alex Rudaj. And one night, Rudaj goes into Rayo's with 20 henchmen, and he takes uh, John Gotti's table. Whoa. Really? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Imagine if you're like a hostess or like a host. It's <laughs> yeah, like yeah, your yeah. first day. Oh, my God. Like, yes, this is my table. Uh, and they're like, oh, I think that's for Mr. Gotti. <laughs> Let me check with the manager. You get murdered Jesus for sure. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, I mean, he clearly he was doing that. It wasn't like a mix-up. He did that on Power purpose. Move. No, he did yeah, it on yeah, purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Damn. What Symbolic. happened then? What happened to the fucking corporation? It's like a dog taking over a water bowl. Was Scott, yeah. Yeah. Was Scott <laughs> in jail at the time? I don't think so. No. Yeah. Damn. What happened between the corporation? We don't have a fucking follow-up? now. Well, fucking- they, they went away in like the early 2000s, but they were pretty, they were pretty aggressive. They had a run? Uh, yeah. But also, Cosa Nostra like used them as a... Um, like muscle, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, to do some of their dirty work because the mafia, Get the fucking dumb Serbs, yeah, to do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Slavic dogs. So I guess that power right. move worked, then, huh? <laughs> I guess, yeah. That's awesome. I was reading some like comment in uh, on YouTube, and they were like, "Serbs are the trash of Europe." <laughs> <laughs> That's how you yeah, read every, it. Every every yeah. every region has their own racism. Yeah, it's like Serbs yeah. are probably at the. Low end of Europe. But then they all look exact. At least the racism here is like, you kind of <laughs> understand it. I would, I would argue yeah. that it's more subtle over there. You know, more distinguished. Right. You know, they can. But they can, can they spot t- each other? For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Felix told me they don't really bring their conflict over here. Like Croats and Serbs and like that. Oh, interesting. That area. Yeah, it's I'm funny because sure. they all look exactly alike. <laughs> I like think- Bosnia is mostly Muslim. <laughs> Albanians mostly Muslims, but they don't. I bet you they're could, all white people. I bet you could you think tell. you could. Yeah. I think I could. I mean, some yeah. of my best friends. They have a special best- app for that. Yeah. <laughs> soccer games. Spot they, yeah. Go to a soccer game. Yeah, how much out their forehead comes out? How fucking. Yeah. How fucking much like a like a <laughs> like a mongoloid? They look not mongoloid. What is the? Uh, what, yeah. what were those fucking? God damn it. Oh, Neanderthals? Neanderthals, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm fucking... That's all right. I, f- I felt weird this whole day, dude. Yeah, same here. There's something in the air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Monday. Um. So, yeah, so uh, another time, uh, Rudaj and 14 guys, they go to a, God, a Gambino um, <laughs> card game. 
Damn. 14 guys. They pistol whip a patron and they go, gentlemen, the game is over. Whoa. So they were kind of like, yeah, trying to make their mark. And um, they were, they were knocking over the executive and, game. Yeah. Yeah. So the Gambinos probably didn't have none of that. So wait, they must have killed these motherfuckers, right? <laughs> uh, no, because I think wow. at that point, like Gotti had gone to jail, right. so they were sort they of they knew like, what they were doing. They were like, "Yeah, try us." I think they saw the opening and they were yeah. trying to, uh, yeah, damn, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Tom Metz, a senior investigator with the, with the FBI, said Albanians are more prone to violence and activities like bookmaking and murder because the Italians had sort of like gone in the other direction, mm. um, trying to go legit. Yeah. But he said, uh, he said they're like old Sicilians. They don't roll. They don't cooperate. So the corporation. The operated. perfect terrorist in any yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> Albanians. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're the bad guys in uh, Taken. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, they're trafficking women. They're right? ruthless, horrible people. My best friend and roommate are they? is an Albanian. <laughs> Eldest? Uh, Eldest. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, it's funny because in Greece they're sort of they're sort of like looked down on mm -hmm. like racially, ethnically, you know, because like Albanians come over because they they border Greece from the south, right? The north or, or Greece is at the south, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Albania yeah, is north right, of Greece, right, yeah. um, and they sort of have the reputation of being like I guess what a racist would say like about Mexicans or like undocumented. They're like a lot of undocumented workers and shit like that, but they don't have the crime reputation in Greece. But I guess here mm -hmm. the Albanians here are just fucking savages. Yeah. I, I saw some art. Oh, here it is. Albanians, most beautiful race in Europe. <laughs> some article. And it's just pictures of like... They got Elijah Dushku. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Uh, I beat off to Elijah Dushku. Saya, uh, yeah, Saya yeah. Magazine. No E at the end. I mean, that's some quality. Uh, Who is that? I can't see. Some it's just some random bitch. Just they are the perfect combination. <laughs> Classic faces with exotic side as well. <laughs> they are beautiful It is women. funny how proud Eastern Europeans are about their... Uh, how much you want to fuck their women? Yeah. How much you want to sell your women? Yeah. <laughs> I, I worked with this Polish guy once, and he was like... Uh, when I was in high school, and uh, they were we were having cake for somebody's birthday, mm -hmm. and... Uh, some guy was like, yeah, they don't make it like this in Poland. He's like, yeah, they make it better. And I'm like, yeah. so why'd you leave? And he, right, like, he right. like flipped out. <laughs> and he like flipped out. And like I know. My back. father's the same yeah. way where it's like, it's this weird pride of like. Right. You yeah, don't want to forget who it's you the are. Best. Like, but it's like, it's the best. It's like, it's not. Yeah. If it was, you'd be there. Like, yeah. I do hate that they sort of have a point. Like, again, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like if our play, if the country you're from was that great, maybe do stay over there. But it's not. We're fucking. You know, Greece is not good. My dad still thinks it was a fucking, it was a bad idea to move to America. Mm -hmm. Greece is in a... The, Does he? There's a generation Well, I of guess people, ideally, mm. yeah. It's, it was fucking you horrible. You were born here, though, right? I was born here, but like, dude, if I lived in Greece right now, they have generational poverty. No one my age can get a job. Yeah. And he sees all of that, and he's like... Oh, it's fucking better yeah. than here. It's like, That's my cousin, yeah. too, in Italy. He's like, there's no, there's no jobs. Yeah, here. you can't get a fucking job. It sucks. Can we it, get a job here, though? I guess we're, like, small business owners, so it yeah. doesn't, uh, it's different. You could. It's better than fucking, dude, I'm telling you, yeah. like, people with master's degrees are working at supermarkets there. You know what I mean? Like, in Greece? And, like, it's not like they're do. you know, it's not like they've, it's not like here where they have, like, an MFA and want to work. Yeah. But you don't have to pay taxes MFA over there. And like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Poetry or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. they're, like, engineers that are, like, fucking can't find jobs. Yeah. Here, it's like, that you sucks. can find a fucking job. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Yeah. You, well, there was a thing. So, the, how much productions that over in Greece, like video stuff? No, nothing. Very few. There's a very little Greek film industry. There's a mm -hmm. couple. You know, there's some stuff. My my fucking cousin's trying to be an actor now, and it's like, whew. in Greece. Yeah. Good luck, bro. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, that's a tough hustle. It is. Not like this, where we get to be racist. And right. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> Um, but then there was another thing. So Arnold Squitteri, the acting boss of the Gambino family, this was in 2001, I believe. Uh -huh. um, the Rudage organization wants to meet with the Gambino family. So they're like, meet us at this gas station. Uh-oh. So Gas uh, station? Jeez. Yeah, in Jersey. Oof. That's not a good spot to meet. Although I guess no. it's like the, yeah, yeah, you roll up in a car. But it's like, it's not like in a formal, you know, sometimes, you know, you know Johnny Sack and Tony are meeting by a bridge or whatever. One that's, of those that's funny in Sopranos though. It's like they have these meetings, and the meetings last like seven seconds, right, and they right, have to get right, in their car. Right, right. Like, that's like an hour. That's like a two-hour drive with traffic. They're like, they're like, John, did you pull those guys out of that job? He's like, Fuck you, Tony. I don't yeah. have to answer to you. He's like, Well, you, you're gonna regret this. And they walk away. And it's like, well, enjoy your uh, yeah, yeah, the commute back to Jersey. It's rush hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're crossing two bridges, a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> so Arnold Squitteri, the acting boss of the Gambino family, wants to meet with the corporation. And uh, so they meet at this gas station. At Squitteri's signal, about 30 of his guys come out carrying bats, guns, and other weapons. But the Albanians were ready. One of Mr. Rudaj's guys puts a gun to Squitteri's head. Whoa. These guys have balls. Yeah, and uh, God, they damn. almost like if they're still around, good for them. They deserve yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you got to respect someone that goes that hard. Yeah, you know, it's like so, a competitor. Yeah, yeah, it's like like one of those gay guys in like the fucking uh, like in the art scene in you know Greenwich Village in the sixties that like somehow didn't get AIDS. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, 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 it's yeah. like you got to respect that guy. You know he was raw dog, and you know he was getting fucked. Everybody was yeah, raw dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He somehow made it. Yeah, salute. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Salute. so one of Rudaj's men pulls out a gun and holds it to Squitteri's head. And then another one pulls out a shotgun and aims it at a gas pump. And they're like, we're going to blow everybody up. Wow, that rules. Yeah, unless, you, unless your men put down their guns. And the Italians backed away. Wow. So Cowards. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're on top for that long, you know, it's easy to, it's easy yeah. to slip. So. So what's the mafia like now? I'm sorry if you've talked about this before. Yeah, no, not a not a ton. I mean, it. it I don't think they're. They it's say a lot of legitimate businesses. Like uh, some families uh, had a lot of properties they've purchased that are now like oh their right. own. Oh, like the wealth of the yeah, children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So like yeah. they don't really need rackets anymore because like they say the Colombo family's still around, but mm. um, I don't know how what they're really. Yeah. Doing. What would you yeah. What would you be even doing? I guess like gambling internet shit. Or, yeah, gam- yeah. But gambling. It's like you know, bet DSI. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, gambling. You can't. You can't fucking make money on gambling. Yeah, drugs is, seems like it'd be too difficult and too fucking dangerous or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. It'd have to be some random. You can't. Extortion you can't do prote- like, I mean, yeah. Even extortion is like. It's like again, the Sopranos really just describes it all. It's like where they're trying yeah. to shake down that fucking. You know, Panera Bread or whatever yeah, the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, look, I don't know what the fuck you want me to do here. Uh, <laughs> like, it's over for the little guy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, such yeah. a great episode, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tough. Like, stuff changes and, and crime changes, too. Yeah, I mean, so I guess what human is trafficking is the, is the answer. I guess, yeah, no yeah. one else would do. Because yeah. you always want the f- the warm hole of a 14-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's never... That's, 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 that's recession, never going baby. On. Oh, man. Uh, wow. The, 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 demand, the, the demand, demand for that sweet young pussy <laughs> is never going to go away. Uh, God damn. Uh, All right, uh, stop. Uh, you want to plug anything? Uh, I'm in Philadelphia at the Good Good Comedy Theater, March 17th. Uh, that's a Saturday. First show is almost sold out. We might add a third one, so please come out to that one, guys. First show is um, sold out. You're gonna add a third one. There's two shows. So there's yeah, oh, eight sweet. thirty, ten, and if the and it looks like where is that add, theater? Is that that the, the it's little, little black box? The little black box. Theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you already sold that one show. Yeah, yeah. So one show is almost sold out, and um, it's not huge, but yeah, still, it's still nice. Yeah. Um, so I gotta tell you, I ran into this girl the other night who's like, she used to do comedy, but now she's an agent and manager, mm-hmm. and she said on this work email, people were like, "Have you guys heard of this?" podcast called come <laughs> it's so funny that these industry retards they have to, dude. Yeah. And they're, they're like buzzing about but it. but it's yeah. still like it's gonna take a while because of the name i mean i've had a couple conversations with uh like you know industry people it's like a lot to some degree or another yeah they're still they still don't want to fuck with you really you know, a little yeah they're still worried about the brand and it's not even just the name i mean if you listen to the fucking podcast it's like <laughs> it's like a, there's oh, a yeah, million things that. you could just be fucking you know Offended it's, at yeah, oh, you pick and choose wherever there are, 100%. but it's all it's always funny. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. About yeah, that you know that <laughs> you don't know they're all either. cowards. Yeah, they <laughs> are all cowards. cowards. Um, I'm but, kicked off of Facebook for a week because of what? a post that I wrote what like post? eight years ago. I mean, it was bad. Eight years it had ago, a bunch of slurs in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Who the fuck dug that shit up? I don't know. Maybe Facebook was investigating my no. account or something. For because what? it because it's already I heard if your account is under investigation they could like they mm. can dig through and stuff. I heard I was under but, investigation by Instagram again. The feds were watching. Why? And but I think I'm okay now. Yeah. Uh, someone tried to add me and it said can't add that person. Uh, Instagram is. Do you something. think it's somebody snitching or do you think do. it's just their algorithm? No, I think somebody. But snitching. why would somebody is snitching? Le- legitimately, yes. Like I don't want to be that guy, but it's like why is somebody snitching on you though? I don't fucking know. To be annoying. Yeah. Uh, who knows? It could be a fan or something. Yeah, like, like a fan who thinks he's yeah. doing a funny joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I That's mean? That's the thing. If some if if Comtown was a crime family, some guy would like blow up like 
hundred percent a university building. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. tribute for the boss. I mean, every mass <laughs> shooting. Mullen, look, yeah. Every mass shooting. I hope he wasn't carrying his iPhone with him, and they don't check what his fucking most played podcast. No, you is. guys are stopping you know, mass shootings, huh? You think I, so? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, so comes to me a good, good March seventeenth, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. You know, we have a. Uh, the second and fourth Monday of every month, we do uh, Funny Moms at Come On Everybody. So oh, come yeah, that. check that out. It's a good show. March 12th is the next one. Also, check out Matt's podcast, the 20-year-old movie podcast. I'm only plugging this because I have to pull up my dates. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I need to I appreciate kill some time. that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, check that out. I'll be in Detroit. Oh, um, nice. What are you doing? Next week. Tell Just me. some fucking Selling independent cars. shows. I'm having a bad month. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, buddy. I don't really get on the road anymore, but I'm just, you know, booking some stuff here. Uh, Cincinnati, some brewery. That's good. That's cool. Bombs Away comedy show at Brew, Brew Porium in Cincinnati, baby. I love it. March Got it. 17th. Okay. St. Patty's Day. So stay oh, away fuck. from those. I'm a, stay uh, away from those animals. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm March seventeenth too. Fuck, that's St. Patty's oh, cool. Day. God damn yeah. it! You'll be good. <laughs> Did you just mark it? I didn't know. I didn't know. You already sold sold out a show. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But still, um, yeah. So come to that. Doors at seven. Show at eight. Five dollars. Brewporium in Cincinnati. Four eight three one Spring Grove Avenue. And then uh, after that, some shows in uh, Cleveland and Columbus and uh, Detroit. Nice. We're going for a whole week. Okay. Yeah, what do you got? Yeah. Hit the road, baby. Yeah, it's good. All right, well, uh, this was another... Um, let me... Wait, do I still have that audio of the lady scream? <laughs> <laughs> you want to end on that? What? You want to you wanna close out on that? <laughs> Where is it? Yeah. This is a good sound effect. Deranged lady screaming on YouTube. It's great. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Bye. Thanks a lot. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>